Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can import and use pretty much any shoe in Claw 3D. As you can see here, I've got some Salomon XC6s in. Um, you can also do things like Gazelles, Sambas, what else have I got? Got some Yeezy Slides, some 350s. You know, you can pretty much do any shoe that you can find. Um, then these are all for free too, which is crazy. Um, the shoes I'm going to be showing you today, as an example, the Balenciaga Defenders. So as you can see, they look absolutely amazing, you know, extremely high quality, a lot more high quality than anything you'd be able to make in Claw. So yeah, let's get straight into it and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So, First off, we're going to head over to Sketchfab, which is a 3D modeling store. As you can see, you know, there's a lot more on here than just shoes if you've never used it before. But you can get some really high quality shoes on here for free. So, you know, if we typed in, say, Balenciaga. Let me have a scroll down. This is the model that I used for the shoes I've just shown you, as you can see, super high quality. On this one, there is a bit of a <laughs> extra there for you that, we, that we're gonna have to delete later, but it's absolutely fine. So we're gonna press download 3D model. And from the original, uh, sorry, from the available downloads, I'm gonna choose uh, the GLB file with the, uh, the highest texture size. So in this case, it's 4K. Sometimes you can get 8K and 16K, but I think that's a bit overkill, to be honest. Um, the highest you'll probably need to download is probably 4K, but... Uh, the reason I choose GLB format is because, say, if you download it in OBJ, it downloads as a file with uh, separate textures and things like that, whereas GLB, everything's just in one file, so it's a lot easier. So if we download this Balenciaga Defender, now we need to head back to Claw because we're going to need to export our avatar uh, so we can use it to scale the shoes correctly. So, if we add, I'm going to do this on a female avatar. If you want them on both male and female, you're going to have to do it separately because the male and female have different size feet. So the, the one shoe won't work for both. So you're going to have to do this twice for both avatars. So let's add a female avatar that I'm going to be using and I'm going to delete the high heels that come standard and then we want to add the standard white tennis shoes these ones here fb2 underscore sneaker underscore a I'm going to add those and I'm going to click on the avatar I'm going to right click move avatar to ground so now this lines up the bottom of the shoes with the floor perfectly and now we can delete these shoes. And now you'll see there's a slight gap underneath the avatar's feet, which is what we need. Now we just need to export, file, export as an FBX. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna call it, let's say, fv 2 underscore claw avatar 2023. Save. So now for the export FBX settings, we're going to press select an avatar, single object, unweld, and then untick everything if it's ticked. And the only thing we need to change down here is changing the scale from millimeters because it's on millimeters by default. We need to change it to centimeters. Uh, if you export in millimeters, you're going to run into problems later on. So we need to make sure this is centimeters. So, okay. And now we need to open a separate 3D software. I use Blender. Uh, you can also use uh, Cinema 4D or 3ds Max, anything like that. Blender is my program of choice. Um, so yeah, this is so this. If you never used Blender before, this is the opening screen. You always get a cube when you load in. We're going to click on the cube and press delete. So now we're going to import our avatar into Claw, eh, sorry, into Blender, file, import, FBX. And let's 
to look for our avatar here. FE2 Claw Avatar 2023 import. And uh, at the bottom we get a little Diddy avatar. As we exported in centimeters, it comes in pretty small. Um, when you export in millimeters, it, it, that's like the, the normal size. Uh, for some reason though, when you try and import shoes into claw that have been worked on in millimeters, it won't let you register them as an accessory. So this is why we need to work in centimeters. So let's get this shoe in and let's start trying to match it up to the foot. So this is a difficult bit, but it's still not too hard to be honest. So we're gonna go import GLTF 2.0 as we downloaded in a GLB format. I'm gonna go my downloads. I'm gonna find my the shoot I've downloaded. So here it is, Blenciaga Defender import. And here it is. So as you can see, it doesn't line up to the foot at all. And we also have this little weird um, extra bit on the side, but we're gonna sort that out now. So when you load in a model, sometimes it'll come in, it'll just be the one single item. Sometimes you'll get a folder of all these, all these different items. So this here, object zero, is the actual shoe. Um, and then these bits, you'll see because when you click on it, it actually highlights as well. You click on these parts, it doesn't. So first off, I'm gonna click on the shoe. And if your 3D model's perfect, you know, there's absolutely no sort of bits sticking out or anything like that, you can skip this step. But I'm gonna change over to edit mode. I'm gonna just highlight and just delete this bit over here. Okay, now back to object mode. And now we need to use the transform tools on the side here to get this to fit the foot perfectly. So, I'm gonna click on the model and I'm gonna use the rotate tool to get this thing rotated. And I'm also gonna make sure that it's gonna be flat to the ground as well. And now let's work on scale. So over here, these are the scales. You've got an X scale, a Y, and a Z scale. We need to make sure these stay uh, the same value throughout. So for example, the X scale one, I'm gonna change this to, this is just a guess, 0 0.5. I'm gonna change the Y to 0 0.5 and the Z to 0 0.5. Okay, still a bit too big, but we're getting there. So let's change to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. And that's way too small, so 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0 0.4. Okay, too big again. But let's start positioning it on the foot. So I'm gonna use the move tool over here, and I'm gonna drag it over to the foot. And then here, which all we're doing is we're playing around with the placement of the shoe to get it perfect. So don't forget, you know, the rotate tool as well. We need it to line up as perfectly as possible. And you also want to look at how it's looking from the front, the side and the back as well. So directly from the front, we can see it probably needs a touch of rotating that way. From the side, it probably needs rotating a touch this way. From the back, it looks pretty much perfect. So let's go back to working on scale. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, too small again. 0 0.35. This is the most tedious step. It's not difficult, but it's, you know, it's just a bit annoying. Uh, trying to get the scale perfect, you know, you'll change it one way, it's too small, you'll change it the other way, it's too big. Okay, so now we're starting to get somewhere. Um, as you can see, the foot sort of sticking out a tiny bit on the side here. And because everything's the same colour, you know, it might be a little bit difficult to sort of see what's sticking out and what's not. So what we can do up the top over here, we're currently in solid mode, but we can change over to uh, material preview mode. And this is gonna add the textures to the items we've got. Uh, just to, you know, you can, you can see the foot sticking out a lot easier now. And a good thing to do as well is to actually click on the avatar and you can see sort of the direction of the foot. And you can see it in, that in you know, correlation to the direction of the shoe. So we can see here the foot's pointing this way with the shoe's pointing forward. 
So let's alter that bit. Just to get it perfect. Okay, we're on the right tracks. I'm going to use the move tool again just to sort of get it perfect. And now I'd say this shoe is a tiny bit too long for the foot, as you can see the foot ends. Um, the toe ends there, but the shoe ends over here. We sort of want it to be like almost perfect, like an almost perfect fit. So I'm going to change it from 0.35 to 0.32. a lot better of a fit uh, there's a bit of clipping over here so let's sort that and then once we're happy with the placement of the shoe we can start to think about the other foot so I'm happy with this, this looks perfect. So now we need to give him, give her, sorry, a right foot. So what we're gonna do for this, super simple, we're gonna highlight the shoe by clicking over here or clicking on the shoe. We're gonna press Shift D to duplicate. I'm gonna head it over this side and try and put it in sort of the right place. Uh, but as you can see, she's got two lefts. So we're gonna click, mirror on the X global, and now she's got a right foot. And I'm just gonna position this in the same way as the other shoe, making sure that everything is perfect. One thing you have to be careful of when you are duplicating a shoe is to make sure that they're the same height. As you can see, this shoe is a bit taller than that one, so we're gonna bring it down. And just adjust as much as you can just to make this one perfect too. And that looks absolutely spot on to me. So now we're pretty much finished in Blender. All we have to do now is just to rename the shoes so that when we import them as an accessory into Claw, Claw knows that it's a shoe it's supposed to be registering. So if we come, it's sort of like a bird's eye view as if you're looking down at your own feet, just so we don't get this wrong, we need to rename each shoe individually. So if we come over to this side, we see I've got object two and object 2.001. Yours may not necessarily be called object two, but just make sure that you've got two separate files, a left and a right, and you can tell which one's which by clicking on either. So I'm gonna click on the left shoe. I'm gonna double click to rename. I'm gonna call it shoes underscore L, all in lowercase. And the right foot, I'm gonna call it shoes underscore R all in lowercase. So now these are renamed correctly. I'm going to click on both holding shift so that both are highlighted and only these two are highlighted. I've got nothing up here selected. I'm going to go file, export, uh, FBX. I'm going to save it to my desktop again. I'm going to call it fv2 underscore Balenciaga Defender. So now we need to change a couple of settings just to make sure everything's spot on. Path mode needs to be changed to copy. And we're gonna select the embed textures option next to it. Sometimes this doesn't work. Uh, sometimes it will export without the texture still, but I'll show you at the end how to change that. Uh, if that happens, we're gonna limit to selected objects only. Object types, we're gonna untick everything apart from mesh. And scale can be kept the same, this can be kept the same. And then forward, this is really important, we need to change this to Y forward. If we don't change this, the shoes will be facing the wrong way when we bring them into Claw. And then this will change automatically to Z up. So then we untick, untick, and then export. So now, back over to Claw. We're gonna do a little test fit first before we start trying to register them. We're gonna go File, Import Add, FPX. And then if we find where we save them, here's mine. I'm gonna press open. 
add avatar centimeters and then everything else can be unticked okay and now these shoes should fit perfectly because we've got the same avatar as we used in blender so they should be positioned perfectly if this is if there's something wrong if they're not positioned perfectly you need to re-export this avatar making sure we've got the gap under the foot as we went across earlier on and then change the position of the shoes in blender again or let's say for example if you bring them in and there's some, they, look, they look something like this we can correct the positioning in claw delete the avatar file export as an fbx and then go through the whole process again but as ours was perfect i'm just going to re-add my avatar back and i'm going to now as these look perfect i'm going to just delete them and then if we go up to avatar register accessory i'm going to change the accessory type to shoes flats file path fbx and we're going to find where we've just exported to there so fbx plan siaga defender open uh, and this use custom image you don't have to do this um, it will give you like the you know it will give you one um, if you've got like a cool render you want to use as the custom image you know feel free but you don't have to and then press create and then this is where it's going to want to save the shoes file so if you want your shoes to all be in one place you're going to have to find the assets folder i have mine mine pinned over here but it's in public documents claw assets we're then going avatar female v2 and shoes you can then save this as fv2 defender save and then if everything's been done correctly you won't get any error messages or anything it'll just start calculating across and then when we get to the end we should get this box accessories are now completed so we can close and close and now when we open our female v2 folder and our shoes we should have that's the one i've just saved yeah fv2 defender if we double click we now have custom shoes in cloth so you might be thinking why is one darker than the other um i actually couldn't tell you that um, i don't know the answer however don't look at don't look at it as an issue because when we render they actually render perfectly you know one's not darker than the other when we render uh, as you can see they look absolutely amazing and just to prove to you that these are actual register shoes that can be paused and stuff. Let's quickly change the pause. Yeah, you know. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So yeah, that's it. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Hope this was inform of informative. Sorry. Uh, if you've got any questions or if anything's going wrong, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help. Thank you.